Hello everyone, Rory Neary here with video number 56. We're going to look at the add columns function within Power Apps. It's, um, it's, it's an okay function, it works. It's simply, you know, if you've got uh, two columns, maybe you need to merge them together. Maybe you need to multiply two numbers together. Um, then this this is a way of doing it but just bear in mind that you could also just put it in a gallery and you know and just calculate them on the fly so um, this is um, yeah, it's a neat little function so we're going to move over to uh, power apps uh, so I'm going to pop that on the screen um, so in a previous video I looked at a data set to do with Gartner I'm just going to show you the data set here it's very very simple um, we've got year, vision, execution and provider now the thing to bear in mind on this is that the vision um, and execution are both number fields and that becomes relevant later on so uh, so I'm just going to take this from the top. Um, I may just delete this um, this table here because I've, I've you know I've already done the add columns here. So I'm just going to reduce it down just in case I make a mistake. I can refer back to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do insert uh, and I'm going to insert a data table. Uh, it's not connected to any data, so it's then asking me about the items. And so I'm just going to say items equals gar. Nah. Now I'm not going to worry too much about that. There are lots and lots of fields here, and as you can see, that um, and well, it's actually kind of pre-populated a bunch of fields, which I think are, are the custom fields that I created at the time. So I'm just going to move this into a slightly better position, so we can take a look at it. Um, so we've got various fields and it's brought them in automatically and that's wonderful. Um, what I'm going to first of all do is I'm just going to concatenate the year and the provider. It's not terribly useful but um, but it's you know it's okay. And um, so what you need to do is you need to wrap the your table that we're connecting to with the add columns function. So add columns um, and open brackets and I'm just going to do a very simple one here I'm not even going to do anything and um, I'm going to call it quotes my column and and then I'm just going to put in uh, a number uh, hello world so we're going to build up from this as we go along so we've added a new column it's called my column now what sometimes happens with this it can be a little bit on the entertaining side so yeah and, and it is to be fair it, it can be a real pain in the neck and um, so it doesn't really it doesn't always really refresh itself which can be as it is in this case a little bit on the frustrating side so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab that um, string there I'm going to go and I'm going to create and I'm going to delete that I'm going to do an insert of a new data table and then when it says items I'm actually just going to paste this uh, in here and what we should find is that we get my uh, the extra column which is my column maybe it was in there already anyway um, and so what we can see is um, we should yeah there's my hello world column there um, it's just on the right hand side so I'm going to pump this up a little bit just so we can see it properly. Hello world, not very interesting. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to concatenate uh, two of the fields. So what we're going to do is we are then going to uh, add columns and this is the column name, it's my column, we'll keep that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to concatenate, uh, concatenate, which is just a joining expression uh, I'll put hello world uh, and quote one um, and then I need to close the bracket on the concatenation and then press OK so you can got, see we've got hello world one that's wonderful now what we're going to do is we're going to concatenate it with the year now what we should find is that we won't actually be very happy so what we'll do is we'll do the provider first provider um, and that should be um, that should be hello world Microsoft etc and um, and so you can see that we're starting to build this up here now we're going to change it to from being hello world 
to be something like, and we'll use the year. Now, what we'll find here, it will get upset with us just using a straight year. So what we'll have to do is wrap that in a text function because it's actually a, um, it's a number field. So what have we got here? I'm actually hit the drop down. I'm going to do format text um, because it's going to it's going to make it look a bit nicer for us. So um, Gartner, we've got my column um, and how what we're going to do is we're going to concatenate. So we're, we're adding in from Gartner, we're adding in provider and from Gartner, we're adding in the text of the year. Now, one thing we could also do is we could um, we could and um, then we could put a quote in there. So quote space quote and then another comma and then we'll have a space between them. Um, so there's a little space appeared there. We didn't actually need to concatenate it at all. What we could have done is we could have just if I could just get rid of that and, and then I could just put an and statement in there just and ampersand and then another ampersand and I think I've got too many brackets now. So I've just instead of doing that, I've used the ampersand, which actually is quite nice. You don't need to, you know, fuss around with concatenations and commas and so on. It's it's quite easy. So that is us adding in a text column, but we can also do multiplications. So I think that's quite a nice thing for us to do. Um, and so what I'm going to do, I'm going to get rid of some of these. Now, you know, well. Um, what, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do, so it's going to add columns. Well, why don't we add to this then? So that was the first column was called my column. Um, and I'm going to call this my, um, my multiplication. So that's a bit, a bit wordy, but anyway, what is it? And I'll put a comma and I'll just put one in there just to see uh, if it's happy with it, which it isn't. Um, so my column, that's because at the end of provider, I did not put a comma. And um, so the comma in this case actually separates out um, the it, it separates out the statements. We had my column text year da, 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 provider. And the next one is my multiplication. Um, and then I just put one in there. So what we'll see in there is that we should be able to. Uh, there's my multiplication there. Obviously, it doesn't multiply anything at the moment. Uh, you can see it just says it just does one there at the moment. But what we're actually going to do now is we're actually going to multiply two of the fields from Gartner. So we're actually going to do the vision. I'm just going to show you here vision and execution. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to do vision. I'm just going to wait for this to come up multiplied by execution. OK, let's see how that runs. Yeah, and there, and that's interesting. So looking at that, actually, that would annoy me, um, the formatting of this. So um, I, I think I'd be sort of tempted to do, um, I don't know if we've got a, 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 an easy format um, option on here. I'm just, I might, um, yeah, I think I'll leave that for another day. But you can see that you can multiply this up um, and you can see the items and maybe and what, one thing that you could do with this is you could then uh, it would then allow you to filter it. So if we actually go onto the play button here, um, just looking up here, then you can see that there's you know a low number is 1.08 or 0.3. Da, da, da. So what we could do is we could theoretically filter this um, to be greater than a certain number. Um, so. Uh, and let's just let's just see if we can do that because that really is kind of the only point of actually doing this. And um, so I'm going to do um, so I'm going to do filter. So filter filter this uh, and where and it's my my multiplication uh, is greater than two say and that and then we should close that bracket and that should actually work and yeah and it does work so you know it would be I mean admittedly you wouldn't want to do this on on a, a vast amount of numbers but it shows that the data is really really inside there um, in a way that's different to, to if you had a gallery 
So that is all I wanted to show you today. We've done a bit of a deep dive on the ad columns. I'll just remind you that you can get to, um, if you want to find the Power Apps ad columns, then you could go and find it from the um, Google uh, Documents. Um, and you just and this is this is where you find it just moving down to the add columns there you can see um, the syntax is better described here table column name one formula one column name two formula two and so on and so on and so on you can see there's other things here and I'll be covering those in future videos so I hope that you have found this uh, this useful and uh, I will see you again sometime soon. Thanks very much.